So how do you make joining your team an absolutely irresistible offer and a no-brainer decision for your potential customers and prospects that you're talking to? Also, what makes you super different and extremely valuable compared to any other distributor or representative in your same company, even if you're brand new, even if you haven't created results yet? Well, I'm gonna give you some juicy tips that you are absolutely going to love in this episode. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 122. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. Have you ever heard of the value stack? Yep, value stack. So Russell Brunson, don't know if you heard of him, not Richard Branson, I always get them mixed up, although they're both geniuses, but Russell Brunson is a favorite, favorite, favorite marketing mentor of mine. He owns a company called ClickFunnels. He's also the host of a podcast called Marketing Secrets. I'm gonna leave some of these resources for you in the show notes that I mentioned here in this episode, but he's a literal marketing genius. Like when I listen to him speak, I really listen to him speak and I take it to heart. Now, he was talking about one thing in this podcast episode that I think will definitely help you if you're in network marketing. Because if you're in network marketing, sometimes the struggle lies in getting a customer or potential customer or a prospect that you're prospecting for the business to actually like jump in with both feet excited and do it immediately. Now a value stack, and this is something I learned from Russell, a value stack is something you have to have in business if you want people to make an immediate decision and feel exorbitantly amazing about that decision. And I'm going to give you some cool value stacks that you can use inside of your network marketing business that will absolutely blow your mind and help you sign up more customers and more distributors and teammates into your team lightning fast. So Russell was talking about this iPhone sale on his podcast and I thought it was genius. So I'm going to share this with you and I want you to think about an, this iPhone story the next time you present your product or your business to somebody in your network marketing company. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, Russell said on this podcast, he said, okay, look, um, let's say I have an iPhone. Now, how much is an iPhone if you go buy a brand new one in the store? Let's just say it's about $899, okay? $899. Now, Russell has this iPhone that is, let's say, two or three years old, and he wants to sell it for $2,995. Okay, so who in their right mind would buy an iPhone for $2,995 when they can go out and buy a brand new one. Now this one's a couple years old. They can go out and buy a brand new one for $899. And when I was originally listening to this podcast, I was like, yeah, that's dumb. But what he did was the value stack on top of this iPhone. And I love this example, it was amazing. So what he did is he said, look, if I did like a, a webinar or went up to my friend and I said, look, man, um, I know that you're in the market for a new iPhone and you're about to go buy one at the cell phone store. And I know that you um, can buy a brand new one for like $899, but I've got this couple year old iPhone. It pretty much can do all of the same things, um, but I wanna sell it to you for $2,995. And the guy's like, what? And so he's like, but here's what I'm going to include with the iPhone. And what he went on to saying is a couple things I can't quote it exactly, but he said, look, over the last you know, five years, and Russell's a marketing genius, and he's talking to somebody else that's you know, really into marketing. He's like, over the last five years, I have loaded every little bit of training that I've been through on this iPhone. It has all these audio books that are stacked in there. It has all the speech notes that I've taken from all of these events that I've been to. Um, and they, they, it has all these training programs that are loaded onto this iPhone that you can go through and you can learn everything that I've learned pretty much in the last five years through the training programs that I've invested. And I've invested in about $150,000 um, worth of course and trainings and audiobooks and you know just my speech notes that are in this phone uh, do you want to buy this iPhone 
Right, and so the, the basis of it was, I think I might be butchering the story a little bit, but the basis of it was is that he value stacked you know, the iPhone. So now it was no longer about just buying the iPhone. It was about all the additional value and the stacked value that Russell put on this, uh, you know, offer. And so he was able to sell his iPhone to this dude for $2,000, $3,000. This dude got an iPhone. He was in the market for an iPhone. He paid, you know, four times as much for it, over four times as much for it. And he basically was happy to do so because the value, the perceived value was way more than the price that he paid. The perceived value was about $150,000 worth of content that was loaded on this iPhone. So how can you relate this to your network marketing business so that you never have to handle with, you never have to handle price objections or people telling you that they don't have the money or your stuff's too expensive or they want to think about it and then they're like dragging their feet. How do you value stack for your network marketing company. Well, I'm gonna share with you how I value stack for my network marketing opportunity and or my products. So one thing that I want you to think about is what is everything, everything that somebody gets if they join you in your team or they become a customer of yours. Every little tiny thing that you can think of. Now I'm gonna give you some really good examples and you can pretty much copy some of these, you can model some of them and I think they'll be helpful for you in your business. Now in every episode of Tanya and Liza TV, you know that I love to equip you with a free resource that you can use and you can download and you can use in your business to create success with fast. Now this week, since we're talking about a value stack for your network marketing company and how to make it more valuable and appealing to the people that you're presenting to, whether it's new customers or new distributors that you're looking to acquire, I have put together my network marketing value stack guide that you can go and download and you can use to create your value stack for the product that you're selling and or the business that you're selling. I want you to do this because I think it will help you so immensely sell your stuff easier and faster and plus help your customers and help your teammates really feel and understand the value that you have to offer to them. Plus, it'll also help you feel the value that you have to offer to them, making it easier for you to be more confident in what it is that you're doing. Now to pick up this free resource, all you gotta do is head over to the blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 122 download. Okay, we'll have it ready for you on the blog. If you're on my YouTube channel or Facebook, wherever you're watching this video, we'll leave a link in the description area for you. That'll take you to the blog post. If you're already on the blog post, right below this video, you'll see a big yellow button. You'll click it and then you can get access for free to my network marketing value stack guide that'll help you build your value stack for whatever products or services that you are currently selling. So as you're going through that guide and building your own value stack, and I'm gonna give you my value stack so you can model it and it'll give you some ideas. As you're going through this though, um, you are going to use this when you're presenting. So maybe you have a webinar presentation, something like that that you're doing. If you don't have a webinar presentation, I encourage you to get one or you make one and I'll leave a resource for you in the show notes if you're, if you're not selling on a webinar yet. Um, I'll leave a resource for you, but let's say whatever it is you're doing to present, you could be on a webinar, you could be doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting, you could be in a chat, um, maybe you need to pull the big guns at closing time, they're not quite like making a decision, you throw the value stack at them then. Um, whatever it is, you wanna be aware of what your value stack is, you wanna have that guide in front of you at all times, and you wanna be able to copy and paste that over so they understand that the perceived value is way more than the actual value that they're paying for to be on your team or to buy your products. So I have uh, downloaded mine, okay, and I'm gonna share this with you. And when you go to download the free resource with today's episode, um, you'll also get a list of mine here. So you don't have to take notes or remember them. You can just go into the resource that we've created for you and these will be there. But here are some examples of value that when somebody comes into working with me and my team, these are additional things that they get access to that they might not know of, and, and this isn't common sense. So this is how we stack the 
value in the offer of people coming to work with me on my team. Okay, so they get access to a private Facebook group with step-by-step -step videos and training. They can also use that for their team, so that's very um, much a leverage tool for them. They get access to some of the top income earners in the company, right? How valuable would that be? private training site that you and your team get access to that walks you through building the business to reach your goals fast. So I've personally put together a little training page. It's my videos. It doesn't have to be yours. You can use your teams if you have one, but pull anything and anything out of the air that you can think of that they get when they're a part of everything that you're doing. They also get free social media training to attract new customers without leaving the house or spending hours in front of the computer. Um, we do monthly contests and incentives where you can win extra cash and prizes. Um, we do weekly training calls that help you foolproof your business. Uh, we also give personal leadership access uh, to help you with your prospects and customers and teammates. All right, we also do vacation and trip incentives within our team that you can win and take your family on. We also give you access to our personal social media posting vault so you know exactly what to post on social media to attract interested customers and teammates. We give that in the form of copy paste. So if they're new, they don't have to know copywriting or anything like that. They can just use the things that are already working. Um, and then we also give them a business launch plan um, that is built out for them that they can plug into to launch their business and to hit their goals fast. Now, these are just some of my value stacks. And so when I'm talking to somebody that wants to come and join my team, I tell them on top of just like working with this amazing company and our team that we have, here's everything else you get. And when you add this up, you know, it's like 5,000 plus dollars worth of value that you're getting for, you know, however much it costs to join the team, right? So the perceived value is much greater than what they're actually paying for. And it will help your prospects join faster and you to build a team bigger, faster in your company. Get the value stack guide that we put together for you in this episode. It will definitely, definitely help you. Now, I want you to also think you can do this for customers too. So this, I gave you an example for people coming and, and joining my team. I mainly focus in my business on building uh, business builders, but there's lots of people that focus just on getting customers. So when you're out there talking uh, to people about a certain product in your product line, when they buy that product from you, what else do they get that you could include on a value stack for your customers? Do they get a certain Facebook group access for an accountability? Do they get an accountability partner? Do they get a coach? Do you check in with them once a week? What can you do for your customers to immensely stack up that value to make it a no brainer for them to buy product from you and know that they are fully supported with an immense amount of value buying from you versus buying from anybody else or anywhere else. And I want you to remember something. You have to think outside the box if you want out of the box results. And I know you probably want out of the box results, right? Because inside of the box is mediocre results. And I wanna help you create your value stack for your network marketing company. So let's do it together for your products, for your services, for your business. Make sure to pick up my value stack for network marketers guide at tanyalenza.com forward slash 122 download. We'll leave a link in the description box take you to the blog, right on the blog, there'll be a big yellow button. If you click it, you can get the value stack guide. You will absolutely love it. And then I would use it and memorize it and put it into all of your presentations and all your conversations with your potential customers or teammates. So let's get this party started. I want you to, in the comment section below, right off the bat, I know you just thought of three things, three value stacks. I want you to post three value stacks that working with you or buying from you, you can give additional or present as an additional piece of value to your potential customers or your potential teammates. Let's get this party started. Drop it like it's hot in the comment section below and let me know what three of your value stacks are. I know as you were watching this episode, you thought of at least three. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope you did. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, share it, get it out there to your team, build your value stack and share that value stack with your team so your team knows all of what you guys stand for and all of the value that you represent when they're out there sharing the opportunity or sharing the products. I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.